Hey guys, thanks for uh, joining in on another reading this week. We're back with another great book. Uh, we're reading It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, today. Um, but we'll wait a few minutes here, let some people join in, and make sure that uh, everybody who's wanting to join in uh, gets a chance to get on. Um, so, I guess we'll talk about Talladega a little bit. Uh, Talladega last week was, was pretty good, obviously. We ended up running uh, second there at the end. Um, had, a, had a pretty good shot to win and just didn't quite play out with the way that we needed the runs to and um, just didn't get in the position we needed. They were coming to the line to have a chance to win. They, they were, you know, three, four wide kind of coming to the line and it was pretty... Uh, Pretty log jam getting up there, so it was tough, but still good to come almost second. Um, going to the Roval next week, well, this week, um, you know, it should be pretty exciting. It's looking like right now there's a pretty good chance of rain on Sunday, which uh, NASCAR has told us we will run in the rain, so that would be pretty interesting. The, the, the Roval's pretty um, hectic as it is, so if we were going to run in the rain there, I'm sure it would take things up a notch. Uh, so that should be pretty exciting. But uh, I think now we're going to go ahead and, and get started on the book. We gave everybody kind of a chance to get on here. So uh, like I said, it's The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, kind of a Halloween, October-themed book. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. All right. <clears throat> Every fall, the leaves on the trees turn brown and fall off the branches. Pumpkins grow big and plump in their patches. The air grows cooler. People start to think about their Halloween costumes. And every fall, Linus writes a very important letter. Dear Great Pumpkin, Linus writes, I'm looking forward to your arrival on Halloween night. I hope you'll bring me lots of presents. Who are you writing to? asked Charlie Brown. The Great Pumpkin, Linus replies. On Halloween night, the great pumpkin rises out of his pumpkin patch and flies through the air with his bag of toys for all the children. You can see Charlie Brown is a little skeptical, I think, of the great pumpkin so far. Linus' sister Lucy isn't happy that Linus is writing to the great pumpkin. You make me the laughing stock in the neighborhood, she complains. But Charlie Brown's sister Sally doesn't think Linus is crazy. She thinks Linus is wonderful. He's her sweet baboo. Wouldn't you like to sit with me in the pumpkin patch on Halloween night and wait for the great pumpkin, Linus asks. Sally's thrilled. I'd love to, she tells Linus. I think Sally's got a little crush on Linus, it seems. <clears throat> Later that day, Charlie Brown has a surprise waiting for him in the mailbox. I got an invitation to a Halloween party, he exclaims. Lucy thinks the invitation must be a mistake. There were two lists, she tells Charlie Brown. One to invite, and one not to invite. Charlie Brown knows which list he was probably on, but he decides to go to the party anyway. On Halloween night, everyone is planning to go to the party, except Linus. My blockhead brother will be out in the pumpkin patch making his yearly fool of himself, Lucy rumbles. She can't understand why Linus would choose to miss out on all the fun that Halloween has to offer by sitting around in a pumpkin patch. So they all got the costumes on. Old Charlie Brown, he, he managed to still show up even though I don't think he was really invited. Everyone puts on their costumes. Lucy is dressed as a witch. Charlie Brown is dressed as a ghost. But no one can tell what he is supposed to be because he had some trouble with the scissors. Sally is also dressed as a ghost. And so it's shorter, shorter. They figured out how to use the scissors just fine. Pigpen is dressed as a ghost too. Everyone can tell which ghost he is because a cloud of dust surrounds him. Snoopy walks by, also dressed in a costume. Who in the world is that? asks Lucy. He's a World War I flying ace, Charlie Brown explains. Now I've seen everything, Lucy says. I think Oscar came just because he heard Snoopy was on there. I think we know which one Big Pen is. Snoopy's looking pretty sharp on there. Strutting in as always. 
Lucy declares that everyone will go trick-or-treating first, and then go to the Halloween party. As they pass by the pumpkin patch, Linus sees them and gets excited, thinking they have to come wait with him. Have you come to sing pumpkin carols with me, he asks. You blockhead, Lucy yells at her brother. You're going to miss all the fun, just like last year. Don't talk to me like that, Linus cries. The great pumpkin will come because I am in the most sincere pumpkin patch. Oh, good grief, Lucy exclaims. She marches off with her friends. Looks like no one wants to join Linus in the pumpkin patch to wait for the great pumpkin. Except, what about Sally? Sally is torn. She doesn't want to miss out on all the fun, trick-or-treating, and a party. But Linus, and her, and Linus is her sweet baboo. What should she do? Sally runs back to the pumpkin patch. I'm glad you came back, Linus tells her. You'll see the great pumpkin with your own eyes. Linus is positive the great pumpkin will pick this patch. Why wouldn't he? The great pumpkin chooses the most sincere patch to visit every year, and how could a pumpkin be, patch be more sincere than this one? Sally hopes Linus is right. He's got his little pumpkin picked out there, waiting for the great pumpkin to come by. Meanwhile, the rest of the kids go trick-or-treating. Tricks or treats, money or eats, they yell at the first door. Everyone compares what they got. I got five pieces of candy, brags Lucy. I got a chocolate bar, exclaims Patty. I got a quarter, says Violet happily. I got a rock, says Charlie the Brown sadly. And that happens at every door. All the other kids would get wonderful treats like candy, gum, and popcorn balls. And Charlie Brown gets rocks. <laughs> Maybe it's because he had so much trouble with the, the scissors on his costume. Lucy decides they've done enough trick-or-treating, and it's time to go to the party. After all, everyone has a bag filled to the brim with treats. Everyone except Charlie Brown. He has a bag full of rocks. On their way to the party, they pass by the pumpkin patch again. The kids laugh at Linus and Sally for waiting there instead of coming to the party. The great pumpkin will be here, Sally yells, defending Linus. After the kids walk by, Sally turns to Linus. All right, where is he, she asks. He'll be here, Linus assures her. I hope so, Sally replies. Think of all the fun we're missing. And the Halloween party is a lot of fun, for everyone except Charlie Brown. At first, Charlie Brown thinks his night is looking up when the other kids ask him to be the model for the jack-o'-lantern. That sounds like a great honor. But then he realizes that being the model means having Violet draw a big pumpkin face on the back of his head. Meanwhile, in the pumpkin patch, Sally is growing tired, tired of waiting for the, for the great pumpkin. If anyone had told me I'd be waiting in a pumpkin patch on Halloween night, I'd have said they were crazy, she complains. Just then, she and Linus hear a rumbling noise. They see a shadow emerging from the pumpkin patch. It's the great pumpkin, rising out of the pumpkin patch, Linus yells. He's so excited to see the great pumpkin that he faints. Charlie Brown getting drawn on, and it's not looking like that's the great pumpkin rides now, the pumpkin patch. I think someone's dog is playing a trick on them. <laughs> but it isn't the great pumpkin after all. It is just the World War I flying ace on his way back from a very important mission. Linus wakes up and asks Sally what happened. I was robbed, howls Sally. Halloween is over, and I missed it. She stomps out of the pumpkin patch, leaving Linus all alone to wait for the great pumpkin. Linus falls asleep waiting. Later that night, Lucy comes to bring him home and tuck him into his warm bed. Was Snoopy not the great pumpkin? The next day, Charlie Brown tries to make Linus feel better. Don't take it too hard that the great pumpkin never showed up, he tells his friend. But Linus doesn't feel let down. Just wait until next year, he tells Charlie Brown. I'll find the most sincere pumpkin patch, and I'll sit in that pumpkin patch until the great pumpkin appears. And that, folks, is the story of Charlie Brown and the great pumpkin. I've heard that story many times since I was a kid around this time of year, so I thought we would um, read that one for you guys. But thanks for joining in. Uh, another great book. Make sure if you guys have any suggestions to send them in. 
uh, to us for the future, and we'll continue to do some more reading along the way, and we'll find another good book here and let you know when the next one's going to be. Thanks, guys.